The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm going to take a look at the new Chaparral 277 SSX, a boat that combines a stunning design with entertainment-friendly features and solid performance. Let's start with what people see first, her styling. The most important aspect of any large sport boat is how she looks on the water. I think the Chaparral 277 SSX speaks for herself. First is her standard color hull band. Our test boat happened to be the roulette red, but black, blue, white, or teak are also available. Take a look at her unique sculptured hull side that signals that this is a boat out of the ordinary. The rub rail sweeps down to the integral swim platform and accentuates the two-tone top sides. Then there's Chaparral's three signature stainless steel air vents, complete with LED lighting on the curve of her stern quarters. Style and elegance such as this can also be found in small details as well, such as the walnut wood on the instrument switch panel, the stainless steel steering wheel, the double stitched vinyl dash, and the solid surface counter in the head compartment. I like the retro look of the aft sun pad, which has a center walkway. But beauty in a sport boat like this would not be complete without the beast. Our test boat was fitted with a standard 380 horsepower Mercury engine with Bravo 3 outdrive. We reached a top speed at 4940 RPM of 50 miles per hour. At that speed, fuel burn was 33.95 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 139 miles. Best cruise came in at 3000 RPM and 25.8 miles per hour. That reduced the fuel burn to 10.55 gallons per hour, which the 277 SSX could keep up for 9 hours and 231 miles while still maintaining a 10% reserve. We had a time to plane of 4 seconds, reached 20 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds, and accelerated through 30 miles per hour in 9.7 seconds. These times were good for a boat that weighed 7,550 pounds as tested, and it was because of her V-plane extended hull which extends past her transom. That extended V-plane hull keeps her bow rise down to just 10 or 11 degrees when accelerating. I found the 277 SSX to be an excellent boat to drive. Once on plane, just a couple of shots of up trim caused a boost in speed. Additional trim caused the propellers to ventilate. She has a very stable ride and solid feel for her handling. In turn, she banked a comfortable 14.5 degrees and I saw no signs of falling off the turn or chine walking. Okay, so she is stylish and fast, but how practical is she? With her U-shaped cockpit seating and two bucket seats, she can comfortably seat a large crowd between the cockpit seating and the bow. The standard table can be installed in the bow or in the cockpit for cocktails at lunch. For those who like to lay out in the sun, a flip-out filler cushion will join the two sun pads to create a single sun pad measuring 35 inches by 6 feet 9 inches with storage underneath. Probably the most important part of any sport boat is the swim platform and on the 277 SSX it's not an afterthought. This platform comes out 2 feet 7 inches from the transom well past the lower unit. This creates lots of room to put on skis or a wakeboard, and a gang can congregate here. There are two hatches in the deck. The port covers wet storage, while the starboard conceals a four-step reboarding ladder. Note the long stainless steel handholds for the swimmer still in the water. The whole family will like the fiberglass line head compartment with a sink and pressure water mounted to a classy looking solid surface counter above a storage cabinet. There's a mirror and an opening port light for ventilation in the lockable compartment. Every boat needs lots of storage and in the 277 SSX, that starts in the deck between the captain and observer seats. The compartment is two feet deep, which is deep enough for wakeboards, and at six and a half foot long, most anything else. This compartment also has clever drawers to either side that are large enough to accommodate the standard cockpit table. Forward, there's yet another hatch and more in-deck storage. In the bow, there's space available under all the seats and the forward bin is insulated and drains overboard so it can be used as a cooler. In the cockpit, there's more storage under all the seats as well as a dedicated place for a 36-quart cooler. Under the sud pad on the stern, there's still more room for gear, clothing, beverages, and water toys. All large bow riders are not the same, so I'd like to point out several standard features on the 277 SSX that I think are noteworthy. First, I like the self-bailing cockpit which drains water overboard, not into the bilge. Second are the easy to find and use controls on the bucket seats, which means no fumbling under the seat for the adjustment. The engine hatch lifts electronically by a switch at the helm. The optional through the stem anchor is available with the windlass system. If that option is not chosen, you'll have a bow ladder with anchor storage underneath. The boat is wired for two batteries and has a switch from one to the other or both. There's also a provision for a jump start. 
At the helm, I like the start-stop button at the throttle control, and the dark dash virtually eliminates any reflection in the windshield. Finally, I like the fact that Chaparral makes a 380 horsepower engine standard equipment, rather than keeping the base price low with an engine that can't strut with a full load on board. Either Volvo Penta or Mercury engines can be chosen. Every boater will use the 277 SSX slightly differently, so Chaparral lets the consumer choose a la carte amenities. I would specify the arch with integral color coordinated bimini top for its shade and high towing point for wakeboarders. I'd order a cold shower for the transom and an automatic fire extinguisher for the engine room with manual pull at the helm. Those who want to hear the throated roar of the 380 horsepower beast may want to opt for the quick and quiet exhaust. That's my full review of the Chaparral 277 SSX. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.